My name is Phil Burgess, I'm the captain on Modi Yacht Helix and uh, I'd like to show you around this yacht. And now we're on the aft deck of Modi Yacht Helix and I'd like to show you around the interior. We have uh, the uh, deck up here will be all the uh, owner's accommodation. So we'll start in the main salon and work our way through to the staterooms. Just follow me. Uh, here we are in the main salon of Modi Yacht Helix. Um, as you can see, a very spacious area. Uh, this area would be used uh, mostly for watching uh, films in the evening, somebody relaxing, playing cards maybe, and also for uh, just chilling out. The main salons on the yachts are normally the largest areas, but the least used. But uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a beautiful area. Natural light on this boat is a big thing. The architects on the, uh, the fed ship team have made this yacht uh, very, very light with the very large windows. As you can see, they drop all the way down to the floor almost. And all the furniture in this vessel is, uh, is modular in the respect that you can move every item around the boat. Nothing is permanently fixed, and that is a very unusual aspect of this yacht. This area here on the yacht is where the AV equipment is kept. Um, it's a very, very uh, uh, beautifully laid out setup. Um, let me just open it for you. Inside here is all the AV equipment, and uh, to keep it cool, they actually have an independent air curtain that drops down that actually keeps all the uh, electronics nice and cool and the IT guy who's also the engineer on board can also maintain the equipment from behind. There's an access door that actually goes to the back of the equipment and uh, Fedship have just laid this out beautifully. Another aspect of the uh, fed ship is that the corridor spaces and all the walkways on, on board the boat are very large. You get the impression you're on a boat of nearly 60 meter, maybe larger, but actually she's only 45 meter. Really, really nice headroom, maybe because the Dutch are tall, but uh, they, they just give ample space for everybody to move around. Uh, as you can see from this corridor, it's, uh, it's a very large space, um, very, very nicely done. And we'll just show you through to the, some of the staterooms. On the Helix we have four guest staterooms, all of them are the identical size. They all have the layout of uh, either a queen size bed that can be converted into two singles and uh, they all have the same ensuite bathroom with a nice shower and uh, toilet set up in there. Uh, there will be no arguments between guests of who gets what cabin because all the cabins are identical. They can be split, as I say, into single beds or left as a, as a nice double bed. Okay, now let me show you the main stateroom, which will be the master stateroom. Uh, in here we have a very large uh, king-size bed, um, beautiful full-width cabin with very large windows and an unusual aspect to this cabin is we have the skylight that is directly above the bed that brings in natural light and at night the, uh, the owner and his wife can sit and watch the stars. All the marble on the boat is comes from Carrera in Italy and as you can see as we walk through to the uh, bathroom exactly how beautiful and the quality of work that's uh, put into this boat. And now we're going from what is the, the main deck level, which is uh, for owner use only, uh, to the next level, which again is for owners, uh, and that would be the Sky Lounge and the multi-purpose room, and then through to the bridge. As you can see from this area, it is again beautifully light. The uh, accent on this one is the fact that we have teak from this bulkhead all the way aft and this area actually becomes an outdoor area as well. 
the three windows on each side will open up, the big doors on the back will fold back and she becomes a total outside, outdoor area. So you can be air conditioned one minute or you could have the natural temperatures from outside the next. I can slide the fo windows forward and the other three will all come to the forward section. Doors will fold back and this space will become totally open. Uh, beautiful in the uh, evening breezes, especially in the Caribbean, when you just want that freshness to come into the room and what a great setting for a dinner party. So here we are in the, uh, the bridge of the boat. Um, this is the area that I would normally be uh, found if you're looking for the captain. The equipment on this vessel is, um, is state of the art. We have a uh, fantastic panel here that uh, everything has been interfaced into this panel. It was a design by Fedship uh, just for this yacht. We have our autopilot, our stabilizer system, steering, bow thruster throttles, panel control for our windscreen wipers and all our um, restri restricted visibility sounds for our fog alarms and everything like that. All my uh, safeties for uh, emergency shutoffs for the main engines, everything is in this one panel and is, uh, it's just a beautiful uh, aesthetically done piece of equipment. We have my full management system here for my navigation array everything I need from my wind speed to my uh, speed over ground to my temperatures of seawater all the engine pressures and temperatures um, pretty much everything I need at a glance is right in front of me the boat is actually laid out very very nicely for a captain uh, we have this uh, small uh, perch here that uh, the watchman can just lean on um, so he doesn't uh, fall asleep at the wheel um, Beautiful uh, straight windows on the bridge here with a, with a great uh, panoramic view. So uh, again, on a safety aspect, uh, very well thought out. Now we're on the foredeck of the vessel. Um, we have the uh, anchor equipment, uh, the windlasses and the, the capstans for bringing on lines. Um, as you can see, everything is beautifully done in stainless steel. All the motors for the, uh, the anchor winches are underneath the deck, so uh, no corrosion and no issues with, uh, with water getting on them. Particularly beautiful setup. Fedship do a really great job when they, uh, when they do this sort of thing. Big boat stuff, the anchor chain, the anchors and the, uh, the setup here is again probably for a much larger yacht but they, when they put them on a slightly smaller yacht they don't downsize, they just keep the equipment the same. Here we have uh, an emergency escape for the owner from his uh, bathroom in the main stateroom. He has a ladder that will come straight to here so if there's anything that uh, is in the corridor aft of his stateroom that uh, causes him to not be able to pass uh, i.e. a fire, God forbid, then he can come out through a, a different way. So again, a, a very good safety feature. Now this area of the yacht is where actually I will be controlling the boat when we maneuver into a marina. We are on the port side of the vessel as, uh, as we're looking now. And these are my controls down here that uh, all I need is my throttles, my bow thruster and uh, rudder and I'm uh, good to go. Okay, now we're in the uh, outside of the uh, bridge deck aft. Um, here we can see we have a beautiful layout of furniture for the guests to lounge on. All of this furniture can be moved, so everything can be moved around to, uh, to make a, a different look each day. And now we're on the uh, sun deck. This area here is absolutely massive. Uh, we have a full jacuzzi and sun mattresses forward and the chaise lounge set up here. We can put a canopy above us that will uh, give the guests an uh, ample shade if they require it. Yeah, now we're up by the jacuzzi, probably the, the favorite place on the boat for guests to sit and lounge. Uh, while we're moving along, we get a natural breeze that comes across the boat. Uh, with the sun cushions placed forward with a little bit of wind protection, it's probably the, the best place on the boat to sit while we're moving. 